It's the first week of June. It must be time for fake mail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, taste test each of them individually. I'll use the same RDA, I'll just re-wick in between and I'll cut it all together for you. And we'll taste test and I'll let you know what I think of them. So let's begin. The first one I'm going to try is the Sherbs. And this is Ruthless Raspberry. And I'm quite interested about this. I do like raspberry flavours. On the website it says it's a smooth fruity raspberry so let's open this up and have a look and see get some vapors happening there we go nice and fiery in here i've got a 0.12 build and these are some aliens from homemade coils there we go. So let's have a bit of a taste. All very fruity. It has that smooth fruity flavor as they describe it. It also has that fizzy feel to uh, the raspberry. I, always makes me quite curious when um, a flavor is quite fizzy in the feel, but I think it's the sharpness, the sourness of a raspberry that's doing that. It's a very interesting flavor. Yeah, I don't know why they call it ruthless, but it is definitely a flavor I could vape all day. It is something that's very tasty, mouth-watering. Um, it's, it's, it's a very good flavor. It's, it's raspberry, it's very candy, it's very sweet, it's nice, it's intense, it gives you what you want from it. What more can you say? If you were looking at whether you should go out and buy this or not, I would say this is a, a very, very good raspberry candy flavor and it's, it's very nice, very nice. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick rewick and I'll come back here and then I'll open up the next one. So the next up is the Mount Baker Vapor, which is the Forest Berry Fusion. And this is raspberry, blackberry and cherry. I like cherry. It's just one of those flavors that I get drawn back to quite a lot. I like sour cherry flavors, so I'm very interested with this one. So same RDA. I've got the dead rabbit. Same build, rewicked. Here we go. Just put a little bit on. Wet that cotton up a little bit. There we go. Oh, spitty. Ooh, ooh, that one just smacked me right in the face. There we go. So here, let's have a drip and a taste. I taste cherry but I also get the forest fruit flavor as well at the same time uh, the blackberry and the raspberry combined together I know that I can't taste them on their own individually but I can taste that that black uh, uh, black forest that fruity forest flavor as such that's there but I can still taste the cherry the fruitiness of the cherry comes through it really does it kicks in over the top of it That's good. Ooh. That's a really well-rounded fruit flavor. The the sweetness or the the extra fruitiness from the cherry that rounds off the other two berries really well. 
Otherwise, it would just be another raspberry or just another blackberry flavour. But with that cherry on top, it just seems to give it that little extra kick. Something more interesting about it. If I was going to go out and buy this individually, I, I would definitely be going back for this every week, I think. This is one of those flavours that I just... I think I'd, I'd need to have there. I, I don't know if I'd vape it every day, but I'd need to be vaping it at least once during the week. It's just a flavour that I think I would like to have on my shelf so I can return back to quite happily. I think it's definitely one I'd like to drip so I've got the intensity of flavour. I'd have to try this in the tank to see what it's like, but yeah, I'm, I like this one. Forest Berry Fusion, really good. Say hello to the dog. Hello, dog. Hello. We're recording, mate. Just going to do a quick re-wick and then we'll have a look at the Juicy Nerds and then I'll let you know what I think. So, one moment. So, Juicy Nerds going in and this is described as the childhood jawbreaker. I don't know if you remember those. These are those almost everlasting gobstoppers almost that just seemed to go on forever and ever and ever and then when you got to the middle you got that softer center or the chewing gum that's what this is supposed to be like so i'm actually really looking forward to this and this is the gobbly gobstopper so let's get it juiced up give it a bit of a pulse get that cotton wet Might have over dripped a little bit too much there. There we go. Oh, that smells really, really intense already. I like that. So, here we go. Hmm. I can't pick out a fruit, I can't pick out a flavour. Straight away, it's just fruit it's just a lot of candy fruit it's like putting um i want to say skittles loads of skittles into your mouth and just chewing them all at the same time just that mix mash of fruit flavors you can't work out each individual one you just get the whole mix match in your mouth i can't pick it out it is nerds it is just a, a fruit mash but it's very it's very fruity it's very tasty it's making my mouth water it's very good i don't know if it reminds me of a jawbreaker or a gobstopper because i'd have to be sucking on that i think for a few hours but it it is a very fruity vape it is a very candy fruity vape it's very sweet if you like sweet juices, this would be ideal for you. I don't know if this is for me. I like sweet juices, but I don't think this is for me. This is just too candy-ish for me. I think I'd rather have something with more defined flavours so I can taste them individually, whereas this is just fruit candy. This might suit some. It doesn't suit me, but beggars can't be choosers. Okay, so I'm just going to do the rewick and then I'm going to do the last one. I've been saving this one for last because I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking for a really good custard cream flavour and I'm hoping that this one is going to be the one. This is going to be from the Biscuit Barrel and it's the Custard Creams. And the Custard Cream flavour is the Custard Cream Biscuit with the topping of coconut as such. So let's get this one juiced up a little bit and pulse this through. Obviously, I am tasting these on fresh cotton, so over time, oh, that smells good. Over time, the flavour would change slightly. I think if I'd have gone through a few more drips, the flavour would have started to bed into the coils. In a tank, you might have to go through half a tank before the flavour comes through fully. One thing I can promise you, though, is from the moment I've dripped these, there is a lot of flavour. I've not had to drip and drip and drip. It's only been the initial part, so... It's been really good. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's taste some custard cream with coconut. It's not a custard cream that I would think of. It's not like the custard creams I recognise, but it is a biscuit flavour. 
it is a very good biscuit flavour. And I can also taste that topping of coconut. There's something else extra there. Maybe it's the sweetness of the coconut. It doesn't stand out on its own. It just gives something extra. But there is a creaminess to this biscuit. And there is a sweetness to it as well. It's good. I don't know if it's a, a, a perfect rec replica of a custard cream but it's a very good close copy of a custard cream i can guarantee you that that's tasty i think after this after i finish doing this i think it's going to be cup of coffee time and go through a bit more of that because i think this could go really well with a nice cup of coffee or a cup of tea a cup of tea and a custard cream vape that would be perfect right now that's really good i like that it's not a perfect custard cream but it is a good custard cream so for what you're getting from vape mail four bottles of juice in your subscription pack and the one that i get each month is the gold subscription pack and for what you pay you're getting four quality bottles of juice really good last month's i thought was really good i thought it was okay i was surprised actually what i did get in there and i thought it's probably not going to be much better next month it's probably going to be a rubbish one then a good one a rubbish one i'm actually surprised that the quality of this juice is is really good i can see me going through these juices it's not that I'm getting four juices and three of them are going to live on the shelf or even four of them are going to live on the shelf. I can see me going back and finishing these. I've been Graham, this has been Vape Underground and this has been the June Vape Mail Package. Smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get notified of any future videos that we upload. And please leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of the videos. And also, if you get one of these at the moment, let me know what you got in your pack. Thank you all for watching and remember, vape responsibly. I got vape mail. <laughs>